What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well. Today we're looking at Bitcoin on the monthly time frame, and we're looking at this monthly close and we'll go from there basically. So obviously for some of you it's a face reveal but I have been putting my face in the videos back in like September, October, November. I just stopped. I wasn't in like a, the right environment. I was uh, in the meantime like living at Abby's parents house for a few months and then obviously we sorted out the yard. I hope you like the picture. We, yeah, I'm in the office now of the new yard. So yeah, it's all blessed to be honest. So amazing. So now I'm more than happy to show you guys what I look like. Some of you already know, but yeah, let's get on with the Bitcoin chart. Who gives a shit what I look like? So um, basically I was telling my students that I was teaching yesterday. I got an American student, got a German student, like for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And I was basically, well, the German student was busy, but um, the the student from america brian shout out brian i was telling him that if bitcoin actually reclaims this 12 ema it's a big statement basically it's saying that um obviously we closed at the 20 if we look previously this is not the chart of the most data but you can see when you uh i don't think this is the chart of the best data so i'm going to find you a different bitcoin chart yeah here we go we'll go to this one so you can see here that we closed at the 20 and then we rec reclaimed the 12 so this is actually very positive but it was more like a bear market structure here compared to here we already had a, a dip and then like a 50 percent retracement before going into a bear market but here where you closed at the 20 is very negative you can see that yes you got above the 12 but eventually pushed you back below the 12 and then obviously you're stuck in between before a move happens same here you closed at the 12 got above and eventually went down is that what we're going to see well i was telling my student yesterday that if we do get a close above the 12 vma it's 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 amazing opportunity to long basically and um i did take a trade last night i didn't put it in the chat though because i did think it was a bit risky it did go in minus first but i've already come out of the trade 15 percent in profit so these are the sorts of short-term trades that i'm doing in the chat where we go for like 20 percent usually like when there's and this is because i'm scalping at the moment because of obviously the market situation the uncertainty in the world but um <laughs> bitbay crypto make an appearance so go subscribe to her and like her videos comment down below of course subscribe to this as well but um yeah it was more of a risky one like yeah so going back yeah so in these sorts of uncertain times you need to be scalping guys i'm a swing trader i like longer term trades i've been in trades for over a year i don't care how long it takes i know that once my target's met i'll take the trade out so I can be in trades for a week, a month, a few months to a year. I've been in, I've been in some uh, trades for over a year. So that's when the market is certain in what it wants to do. Right now, you can see one, two, three. It was almost a full thread month, obviously, for the monthly close. Write this down. So for the monthly close, obviously, likes to pump, obviously, to change the sentiment. And that's why I told my student uh, earlier in the week, we were down here. And then for the monthly close, we started pumping. And I said that if we can close above the 12, we should continue pumping. And we know we have some targets in around 50, 52K, 47, 52K for Bitcoin. And we can see right here, the if we look over at the blue one, it says on this candle that the 12 EMA was at 43,165. And then if you look up here at the C, it tells you that the close was at 43,178. So it was like $13 above the resistance. And that's why we have to say it broke out because it was above $13. Yeah, I know on the chart it doesn't look it, but actually it was, it closed $13 above it. And that's why I managed to put a long position. But again, it's a risky one because some people might say, Louis, that does not look like it's broken out. And we never know this month could have a little pump come back down and obviously that could be a massive wick to the upside and we drop back to the 20 and looking into the past we've seen a similar thing so i'm going to take you back to that other bitcoin chart i need to find it now yeah i think it was this one and uh, i want to bring you over to the daily time frame and look at this channel basically so i haven't touched this uh chart for over a month basically i forgot to put it in the video yesterday i think but i spoke about it in the chart uh, in the chat so if you remember a couple months ago a month ago i had this bearish channel we were trading inside it we broke out broke back in found this base of support i'm going to show you why as well this is my support i never put my line here i put it on the bullish cross here because you can see it looks a bit random this line but if i were to go to the four hour for you and look closer this where i put this line is actually the lowest support so this is why it was correct for me to put it here so let me find it for you right here so everyone would have been putting it right there but i managed to 
to see that that low in this area, in this range, was the lowest low. So that's why I put my support there. The exact line on the body candle close and then a, a box on the wick. But on the daily time frame, it literally looks like I've just put a random line and a random box. But as you've seen on the four hour, it's not random. And look exactly where we stopped at. When we got inside, we had wicks to the downside. We had a, sh uh, well, we had a bullish hammer here, pumped up into resistance, which was, uh, which was uh, already, uh, pointed out by that shooting star up here. Then we obviously come back for support in the exact same location. So we were ranging, we know the market can either go up or down now. It chose to go up with another bullish hammer at support. And then that's what broke you above. And then we never tested this zone as support. And I was telling you the whole way up here that we haven't tested support. I was telling you guys that XRP was pumping way too fast without back testing anything as support. And that's why everything came back down to this swing high. Now as a swing low, but you lost it. So if you lose it, then it's to the next swing low, which is down here. And that's why we found support again in this area. So that's why I know this area is a valid support. And this is actually the true support rather than this one down here at 34, 33, whatever K it is. So when I made the video yesterday, or I've forgotten to be honest guys, but I think on the four hour time frame before it pumped, we said that a move is coming. We just didn't know what direction it was because I think we were on this candle here. And I was telling you guys that if we were just looking at the EMAs or respecting it as resistance, but I also warned you guys, you have reclaimed this wick over here. So you're kind of at support and resistance. And when you see a doji, it means indecision anyway, usually at resistance, if you see a doji, it's a sign that it wants to reverse downwards, but because we're at support and resistance at the same time, for me, it just basically means that it doesn't even know what it wants to do. So why should I trade if the chart doesn't know what itself what it wants to do? And, in, and we were below the EMAs and in one candle, we broke above every single, all four EMAs. We were under all four and we broke out uh, uh, above all four by the end of that candle. So if we go back to the daily time frame to look at the channel, we can see that clearly, oh, I don't know why it's not loading, but we can see clearly that uh, it broke out and back tested the outside on that exact support, which I showed you that I actually looked at from the four hour time frame rather than the daily time frame. this support right here, rather than this over here. And yeah, we bounced exactly from there, but again, no test or support. But again, guys, like just because it didn't test support here, it eventually meant it was gonna come back down, but it's still pumped regardless of not finding support. It's just eventually it will, uh, it will, will come back. So I'm going to go back to that other uh, Bitcoin chart now. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. Sorry guys, I'm literally using my personal hotspot. Since I moved in, I've had no Wi-Fi. I'm just waiting on the Wi-Fi. It's coming in like two days now. So I'm not in this trade anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. But because I put 20x leverage, it was amazing gains. You can see, uh, look, I'll show you for example. So the trade is up 2.6%. So <laughs> if you put 20x, it's F ton. It's an F ton. So I, just, I was just happy with the gains. Like we're running into this resistance now, potentially. I know that Bitcoin is going to go to 52k. It's just... Um, yeah, I was happy with the games and I probably will put another trade in once we break this high. You can see that the reason why I put the trade as well after this daily candle closes, we were above this, uh, well, let me zoom in for you guys. So I, it wasn't about this support, it was about this low over here. Remember guys, down here I told you that Bitcoin's gonna pump to this resistance first and it can then actually have another target at the 1414, which was exactly lining up with this wick. And I know that if we do reclaim this wick, then we actually should head to the highs over here. So that's why even though this was like in a midpoint, the other day on Friday, I think it was, I put a buy limit order and it never got filled. Like. I, it was, it was very far from support and I thought, okay, it's gonna calm down to support. I'm going to sleep now, it was around midnight. Let me put in a buy limit and it never entered. So with that in mind, I'm thinking, okay, if I put a buy limit down here, it might not enter because it, it happened on Friday. So in the last week or so, I've been noticing these patterns basically. And this is what we need to do. And obviously once this uh, finish following that, then we need to spot the next thing. Like the other month we spotted that everything just kept on going to the 1.272 target and not to the 1414 or the 1618. But again, that eventually was invalidated. So say it's, at the moment, we can, we're can we noticing that it's not coming back to test support. It just keeps pumping to the next resistance. So I knew that when we reclaimed this, we're going to here. So on the daily candle close here, you can see you're also, if we go to the four hour, I drew this level here because I was thinking that everyone wants price to come back down to here. So let me front run the market and thinking that actually price won't go below this box. And that's exactly what happened. We did not go below. And that's why with this trade, I did put my stop loss below this. So it was quite risky 
risky because obviously if this level didn't hold, it would have come down to here. And this is where I put my stop loss, 41,500 exactly. So like $80 below is basically the same price. But yeah, I knew that Bitcoin is going to come back, come back up to this high and eventually this high. And yes, I'm out of the trade. I know I didn't put it in the chat yesterday, but I'm getting ready for some more trades in the chat. Last week, we got around 40% in the chat and already people this week have profited from when I told them that we broke above 40 point. So I think down here I said, now we're above 39K, we should see Bitcoin go to 40.7. And we had some people in the chat take that trade. So good for having big balls, guys. Because <laughs> obviously a lot of people, they'll see the entry requirements, they know it's going up, but then they're too scared to enter. Guys, you just need to enter. If you're too scared to enter, it's because you're risking too much in a trade. So even just start with $100, put $100 in a Binance account, in a Femex account, whatever account, and then just leverage trade with that. So you get used to, okay, now I've gained 10%, 20%. Yes, it's low dollar wise, because I'm only trading with 100. But obviously you're getting used to the percent. So when you trade with a bigger account, oh yeah, I'm getting 15% here. I have a 10K account. Wow, amazing. Do you see what I mean? So uh, yes, I've taken the trade out. Yes, Bitcoin will continue pumping. I didn't take the trade out because I don't think Bitcoin will continue pumping. I do think it will. Our next target is 52, then 54.8K, roughly 54K if we can break above this neckline of the head and shoulders, of course, this larger head and shoulders, which is still technically valid. We could just be coming up into this to roll over some more, maybe form another bottom basically, maybe even a third bottom, but that might not happen whatsoever. We might just pull back a little bit to then go ahead and break this. And then that's when I'll put some more trades and they will all be in the chat. Today only I'll be doing a discount of around 30 pounds on the course and about 50 pounds on the mentorship if you want to join those. So go to my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto, and obviously the pinned post is where, where you can message me down there below and I'll private message you from there. So yeah, I'll bring you over to the crypto packages now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, the little face reveal. But again, I was already showing my face before, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, click the cat. Oh, in the, bo oh. In the bottom right corner. <laughs> it's up, it's, I have to flip it. So in the bottom right corner here, and yeah, comment down below what you think is going to happen next with Bitcoin. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, peace. So guys, these are my crypto packages. Let's bring you over to the one-on-one -on -one mentorship where it's 650 pounds, one-off payment. You will get video call lessons with me over a one month period. We will do one or two hour lessons every single day and you don't need any prior knowledge whatsoever. You can have zero, you can already be an advanced or intermediate trader. My job here is to 10X your learning curve. Everything that I'm teaching you has taken me over three years to gather and cost me over 10,000 pounds, whether that was good courses, bad courses, mistakes, scams, or whatever it was. It cost me over 10,000 pounds to get all this information that I'm personally teaching you. I also had to pay for my mentor over $2,000 for a two hour lesson. So what you're getting for this price is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you also get the six hour crypto course included in this price, as well as the signals chat until the top of the bull market. Now let's move over to the signals chat. I wouldn't call it signals. This is just basically a group where I post what I'm personally doing, my thoughts on the market, if I think it's going up or down. So there's daily chart updates, but also, yeah throughout the day what I'm thinking or where I'm buying, where I'm selling, where I'm looking to accumulate or obviously get out the market. This is what's in the crypto chat and that's 25 pounds for your first month and 40 pounds onwards. Then we can move over to the six hour crypto course. There are over 35 plus videos in this. You don't need any prior knowledge to start. You can be beginner, intermediate or advanced level trader. My job here is to 10x your learning curve, to make you into that self-sufficient trader, to make you into a trader that doesn't need outsider's help. Not my help, not any YouTuber's help or any crappy <laughs> group chat. So if you're interested in this, you also do get a one-on-one -on -one mentorship lesson with me at the end of the course, so you can get any questions answered. So you're clear and you know exactly what to do going forward. If you're interested in any of these packages, then please go to my Twitter at Louis underscore crypto and literally comment down below and just say, Louis, I'm interested and I'll personally private message you to see if you qualify for any of these packages. Thank you guys for listening, watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.